Hello my lovely friends. Today I have a warm-up routine for you, which you can do before you dance or before you stretch or even before you work out. I know that warming up can be really boring and you might be tempted to skip it, but most research that I've found has said that it is most likely probably a good idea to warm up before you stretch. Number one, it dilates your blood vessels, which ensures that your muscles are getting well supplied with oxygen. Number two, it slowly raises your heart rate, which minimizes the stress on your heart. We're already very stressed people, so you know, take it easy on your body. Number three, warming up will increase the flow of fluid within your joint capsules and that allows your joints to move more freely. And number four, this one I think is especially important for us dancers, warming up helps you be more safe and efficient while you move. So your warm muscles will actually contract more forcefully and release more quickly and this can reduce the risk of overstretching a muscle and causing an injury. I'm linking the timestamps below if you'd like to just jump right into the warm up and get started but I do want to give you a quick little snapshot of what this warm up will entail and then based on this little structure you'll be able to create your own warm-up anytime anywhere as much as I would love for you guys to come back and watch this video every time you need to warm up it's really important that you guys know how to do this on your own and also it's important that you vary your warm-up and you're not doing the exact same one every single day and I'll be discussing this further as we warm up but just to give you an overview part one will slowly raise the heart rate and increase your core and muscle temperature part two we're gonna keep the heart rate up and keep that temperature up but we're gonna incorporate some dynamic stretches part three we're gonna continue to activate all of our muscles, we'll be mobilizing our joints and working through our full range of motion. And then part four, we are going to challenge not only our body, but also our brain with a coordination exercise. And then if you stick around till the end, I actually have another bonus section five, which you will have to find out about at the end of the video. Now this is going to be eight to 10 minutes long. You're more than welcome to repeat it again or incorporate your own exercises. You probably don't want to go past 20 minutes of warm up because you're going to start to fatigue your muscles too much and take away from your actual dancing or your workout. And keep Keep in mind there are some external factors that will play into how warmed up you get. For example, the temperature of the room or the temperature outside wherever you are, as well as the type of activities you've been doing during the day prior to the warm up. So let's get moving and grooving. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little cardio. So some jumping jacks, some jogging, and some prances. We're gonna do three sets of this. So starting with jumping jacks. And then we'll move into jog. And then these prances are optional, but I think that they can really help to get your feet warmed up. And so depending on the type of dance you're doing, you might want to incorporate these. But back to jumping jacks, set number two. Make sure you're not cheating them. These are actually here just to get your heart rate up. So it defeats the purpose if you're not fully going through the movement. I always just love incorporating things like this that are a different variety of cardio because I get bored doing one thing, but you're more than welcome to adapt to whatever type of cardio that you like or avoid certain things if you're injured or if you need to work on specific muscle groups. So this is our last set, jogging, last set of prances. Great, and now that we're a little bit more warmed up, we're gonna move into some lunges, just going straight forward. Really make sure that your knee is not going past your toe, you're keeping it at a 90 degree angle. And you can take these as fast or as slow as you need to, I was doing them a little bit quick, but the goal is to continue to open up our body and mobilize our joints a little bit more. This is really gonna help with your hips, but also warming up the legs. If you have issues with your knees, you could do some squats or you could just skip this part all together. And from here, we're going to move into some side to side lunges. So same thing, watch that knee and also watch your upper body. I didn't do a great job of showing this, but you shouldn't be leaning over too, too far. Really warming up the hips, stretching the side of that leg out as well. I had just worked out my legs the day before, so I was very sore and this was kind of painful for me. Okay, now that our legs are warm, we're gonna work on our spine, our upper body, and our core. So you're gonna roll all the way down, 
inch from your hands out to a plank and then come back up. Let's go ahead and roll all the way down. Walk your hands out. Hold in this plank for just a moment and walk your hands back in. Then roll up slowly, moving through each vertebrae in your spine. And repeat, roll back down. Slowly but surely, walk your hands all the way out to a plank. Hold and walk your hands back in. Then rolling back up nice and slowly. It's really important that we don't neglect our spine and our upper body. Also because it's it can, takes up half of your body, you really got to make sure you're warming it up. Go ahead and roll back up. And now we're actually going to roll back down one more time, but now I want you to hold it when you get to your plank. And from here, we're going to do 10 push-ups. You don't have to do full push-ups. You can drop your knees. I'm going to drop my knees halfway through. Um, so I'll do five regular, and then five with my knees. So down and up, down, up, up, and up. I think that push-ups are super underrated for dancers. They really work your core so much, really can help you strengthen your upper body. You don't need any weight except for yourself to do them. So now after this last one, lower down and then push up through your spine into a cobra. Is that what this is called? Just go ahead and really lengthen through that upper back. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and release your head back as well. Really making sure you're pushing through the floor. I'm gonna lean back, I'm gonna sit into my heels, into a child's pose, just to relax that back a little bit more. And then coming right back up into downward facing dog. You can pedal out your feet here, so bending one and then bending the other, to stretch out your hamstrings just a little bit, but I'm not gonna do any kind of intense stretching right now because we're still not warmed up. So keep on doing that. And now walk your feet up towards your hands and roll up all the way through your spine. Now that our hamstrings are a little warmer, we're going to do some light kicks, just touching the tops of your toes to your hands. Nothing crazy, not trying to go too high, just lightly swinging my legs up. I used to do these in physical therapy every time I went into my appointment, so I had to include it here. And then I'm going to do some knee hugs up to my chest, loosening up our hips just a little bit more. Okay, and now the coordination exercise. You might want to watch me do this first, but I'm going to hinge over to a flat back. I'm going to lift one leg and reach the opposite arm out as I lift. And I'm keeping a flat back the whole time. So go ahead and try it with me. You can take it slower if you need to because it is quite intense on balancing. But you can bend your legs, you can flex your feet, whatever helps you. It's more just to warm up your muscles and warm up your brain a little bit instead of focusing on technique. Okay. Now go ahead and take a seat down onto the floor. We're gonna just do a little bit of a head roll. So go ahead and roll your head to the right. And one more time around to the right. And switch and roll to the left. And one more time to the left. And here comes our bonus round, which what I want you to do is just close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and release it out. What we're going to do is a little bit of visualization. So I just want you to set an intention for your dancing, or your stretching, or your workout that you're about to complete. Think about one specific thing that you want to work on could be as simple as being 1% better than you were the day before. Or it could be to make sure you point your feet in that one specific leap. 
We're gonna focus on your spotting and your turns. Whatever you wanna focus on. Picture yourself doing it, how you'll feel, what you'll look like, how your body will feel. Visualization is really powerful. It's done by a lot of professional athletes and I think it's something that more dancers can incorporate. So hope this helped you. You can go ahead and open your eyes now and relax. If you want some stretching to follow this, you can click on one of these videos here. I've done a couple different routines. Um, I also have some technique classes and other things on my channel and I'd love for you to check them out. But other than that, Hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll catch you next week's video.